Hello guys, it's GoldyX here and welcome to Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves, the third installment in the Sly Cooper franchise. Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves is one of my favourite platformers of all time. I wouldn't say it's my favourite Sly Cooper game, Sly 2 Band of Thieves is my favourite Sly Cooper game. Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves is still a fantastic game, I still love this game. So let's, start, let's go to a new game, let's start straight away. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. On point. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I gotta die. Alright, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. Okay, let's do this. So the game starts off on a on a this little Pacific kind of thing and, and we're after a thing called the Cooper Vault, which is located up there. Cooper Vault is where Sly's family fortune is. The story in this game is so much better than Sly 2. Which way do I go? I've just started a game and I'm already lost. Oh, up here. I know where to go. Ah, oh, I see where I need to go. So if we head up here, then we can head closer to the Cooper Vault and find all the loot hidden inside. Agent Hartcroft, take up position for a Yank 86. Over. I've got a visual. The ball has stopped rolling. We've got an obstruction. I'm on it. First is away. Second guy is full. Over. Poor elephants. I feel sorry for them. Agent Making those noises. Nah, Bob Red don't care about the elephants. Some of these voices you might recognise, but in this game Sly has more members on his team. For this big heist it's gonna be more than Sly, Bentley and Murray to complete this to complete this job. If we head down here. All requesting door via Agent Monarch. Over. Launching. Stand clear. I've got visual confirmation on the door. Nice shooting. Freddy got some coins. Nice. Ball is nearing the lab. Agent Deep Six, you ready? Spear got loaded. Okay, so we're here now, closer to the Cooper Vault. One thing I prefer over Sly, on Sly 3 over Sly 2 is the story. I said in my Sly 2 Let's Play that I do prefer Agent Sly 2 Banner Thieves to this game. That is true, but the reason why I prefer Sly 2 is that Sly 2, in my opinion, had the better missions, I think. There were some missions in this game I really did not like, and I'll tell you guys what missions they are when we get through the game. And here we've actually got quite a funny scene coming up. I actually like this bit. Very well, Dr. M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Man, your son, uh, what's his name, uh, Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well too, yeah? It's a shame you won't be seeing them again. Ah, uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one, two, three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear. No, you'll die any second now. Oh. 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 Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richard's got sloppy. The Cooper Vault is just across these wires. I'm en route to your position for the loot haul. Over. That is Dr. M, the main antagonist in this game. In the end of Sly 2, Clockwork's body parts completely dissolved, means Clockwork is finally no more. In this game, we have a new antagonist, Dr. M. As you can see already, he's a bit of a savage. He poisoned his friend. Oh, God. 
And I've been spotted. Since when does Sly get spotted? Okay, I need to get... This is the Cooper Vault here. Let's get all the fortune inside. Enter code 1, 2, 3. Alright, that's the code. belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine, which now includes the key to the vault and the king. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. <laughs> Quick, let's regroup with the others. Follow me. You'll notice that Bentley's in the wheelchair, so this does take place after slide two Banfi. Considering the ending, we saw the Cooper gang split up, so that means they're back together. At the end of slide two, Bentley got his legs crushed by clockwork. Okay, let's head straight down here. We whoa. Okay, we need to get out of here quick. Where do I go? Oh. Let's get the hell out of here before this place go this place blows up. Before I talk to him, that Cooper Vault will be mine. I will come back for it. Come on, Bentley, just keep going. Okay, let's get out of here quick. Bentley has a really cool wheelchair, by the way. We're almost home free! The boat's just up ahead! There's no escape, Cooper. Oi, give my friend back. Oi, give back my friend. He's soft enough against clockwork and he's not going to get any more of his body crushed by you. Save yourself! If he wants to eat, eat this! It was like they always say, your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. 
Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. Sly Free, Honor Among Thieves. Okay, so we've completed the prologue of the game. So it, this game is basically a set of a flashback. One thing I prefer over Sly to this game is definitely the story. This game has a much better story in my opinion. It doesn't follow the story of Clockwork, so we're following, we've got a completely different antagonist and in this game I found the story to be so much more entertaining in, in many ways. I think in this episode we'll do the hazard room, so I'm not going to lie, the hazard room is pretty boring. All it is is a tutorial how to play a Sly. If you played Sly 2, you already know how to play a Sly, so you might as well do it, just to, get, just to get out of the way. If we're gonna make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right! Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. I'm not, Dreyfus. I already know how to play a Sly, but I'll do it anyway. Okay! All great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No! They never get lost! Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gag marker I'm projecting. Found it. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. I know what to do, Bentley. Okay. Head for the waypoint, and we'll commence phase two. I programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. Perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. I sure love high places. All right, Benley, what's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess. Use the right analog stick? Yep. Try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. And there's another marker found. Great. Too easy. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. I think you guys are beginning to see why this is quite boring, especially considering that we did play the previous two Sly games. And Sly 2 controls exactly the same way, so... To be honest, this is a bit boring and a bit pointless to have in this game, the Hazard Room, but if Sly 3 was the first game to begin with, then you're in luck. This game does have a tutorial. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. Job completed. Okay, just one more task to go, then we can get out of this boring place. You picked up a lot of skills after reading the Thavius Raccoonus. Heck of a page turner, that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja spire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. 
try getting over to the other platform. I've done this way too many times in previous Sly games. I think you guys can see why this tutorial is quite boring. Looking good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Exactly like the previous game. Okay, so if I, oh, I think all I have to do is go to the other side. And we're ready to cross. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. And job clear, that's it. The hazard room is all done. We're Yay, all let's get out of here. here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Yeah, let's go. Let's get out of here. I'm done with the hazard room. Let's go begin the game already. Okay, so the first episode in this game is an opera of fear, and that takes place in Venice, Italy. Episode 1, Opera of Fear. Okay guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all the Sly Free Honor Among Thieves videos uploaded to my channel. And next episode we'll start an Opera of Fear, which takes place in Venice, Italy. The first episode of this game, the flashback to the beginning of the end, finally begins. Game with the first episode, Opera of Fear. And I really like this place. I actually quite like exploring Italy in this game. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Okay, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is GoldieX, and I'm out.